Hi, I'm Dr. B. Ravi Kumar, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Now I'm going to discuss a tutorial question bank from module 4, which is nothing but minimization of Boolean function. So in this module, basically, uh, we, the questions comes from how to minimize the Boolean function with L4-4 methods like KMAP or tabulation methods. So in the previous model, third model, we have some like you know, simple, uh, like simple simplified Boolean function function methods using theorems, laws, and uh, axioms, postulates. By properly applying uh, uh, these theorems to a particular expression, then we step, we focus on that uh, that each theorems and then how to minimize them. And then we will get the minimized Boolean function. But uh, as the expression has been increased, then it is somewhat difficult to apply each time to a required uh, theorems and to a particular uh, Boolean function and get the minimized function is somewhat difficult. So, in order to overcome that one, we go for this minimization of Boolean function using KMAP and tabulation method in the fourth module. Then let us see that the questions, how the questions will come in this module. Basically, there are most importantly questions coming from this model is uh, minimize the Boolean function using KMAP, including without uh, don't care and with don't care, and uh, minimize the Boolean function using tabulation method, uh, McCluse, uh, McCluse method, Quinn McCluse method. So let us see that simplified Boolean function using KMAP. There are two ways in the KMAP. Without don't care and with don't care. So before just start this don't care problem and just give the uh, uh, some sad cut like uh, what is the how to make a KMAP for four variable. Basically for four variable KMAP, we have a creating a map with uh, 16 square boxes. Each square box is represented by each mentor. We know I'm taking in the square uh, K map, I'm taking two variables in row wise and two variables in horizontal wise. So I'm taking wx in this row wise, yz in uh, vertical wise. So I'm taking gray code order. We know that in theory session, I'm taking the gray code order. Why I'm taking these square boxes uh, represented in gray code order means it is a possibility to get the adjacency between one mentum to the other mentum. One zero. You know that these square boxes names are 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 7, 6, 8, like 12, 13, 15, 14, 8, 10, 11, 10. So, what are the possibilities of uh, grouping a grouping in the KMA? Basically, we have to start always from the highest possibilities. The highest possibilities, uh, the highest possibilities. Where there is a all ones. If there is a all ones, we have to group all ones, we will get the answer is one. Our Boolean function answer is one. Suppose if there is a one 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 left, 15 ones are there. So then the there is a possibility to create a eight ones. How many eight ones are created here? This is the only eight one group them once covering of these eight ones we don't bother about these two we can focus on the remaining ones so this next remaining ones are these are one that's remaining ones in order to cover this these ones is there any possibility to create uh, this to cover these logic ones to utilize the 16 ones no no 16 ones are there in order to cover these ones is there any eight one possible yes yes eight ones are possible if you take this way, if you take this way, we will cover that uh, these four ones along with this neighbor four ones. There are three ones left. In order to cover these three ones, is there any 16 possibilities? Is there any eight possibilities? Is there any four possibility? Yes, is there any? Is there eight possibility? How eight possibilities? We can take this one. In horizontal way, we can cover eight ones. 
Okay. Next one one is left. In order to cover this one, is there any sixteen possibilities? Is there any eight possibilities? So we every time we have to take the priority from highest. So in order to cover this one, I am taking the best possibilities eight. So I am creating this one. This one is the eight possibility. So like that we can we can take that one. So the possibilities of grouping or pairing is the highest possibility in the for four variable is sixteen ones. This is the highest possibility, sixteen ones. The next possibility is eight ones, like four ones, horizontally or vertically, eight ones. And the eight ones. Next squared, four ones. We can take this four ones in horizontal way also. We can take four ones in vertical way also. This is four ones. Next pair, squared, pair horizontally ones, vertically ones. So these are the possibilities. First, but we can we can always follow from highest priority from sixteen to eight, eight to four, four to two. Let us see this one. And one more uh, point is in the if the problem is mentioned with the don't cares, we can mention with the cross mark for the particular min terms. And in order to covering that logic ones in the grouping, we can utilize the don't care as feel as a logic one in SOP form. So first to make make the mark logic one for given min terms. So one is given, three is given, seven is given, zero one three two four five seven six seven is given, twelve thirteen fifteen fourteen fifteen is given, eight nine eleven ten eleven is given. So three five is over. Don't care. Zero is the don't care. Two is don't care. Five is don't care. So my focus is. Logic one. How to cover the logic one from highest priority? Is there any sixteen ones? No. Is there any eight ones to cover this logic ones? No eight ones. So then quad. So it is a possibility vertically to cover this quad. Then my next focus is this one only. So there are there is only one one is left. In order to cover this one, I am creating eight ones, four ones are paid. My priority is. If there is no eight ones, so next to pair is four ones. So my answer is prime implicant for this square, prime implicant for the second square. For the first one, for this one, the answer is <coughs> horizontally it covers all rows, so cancel to each other. Vertically it covers one one. One one means y z. Because it is a y bar z bar, y bar z, y z, y z bar. So my answer is y z for this quad. For the second quad, it covers one single row, and column wise it covers cancel all all columns. So cancel to each other all columns. So I am getting only w bar x bar is the answer. This is the minimized finalized Boolean function using KMAP, including don't care. There is a, another possibility to ask question from this model is. Tabulation method. So simplify the following Boolean function using tabulation method. F of x, double x, y, z. Ah, uh, the given min terms are one, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. So the first step to do this problem is <coughs> see that the binary representation of each min terms which are there in the given problem. So it is a maximum number is fifteen. So it is required, and also it is a four variable function. It requires four bit binary representation of each min term. Once we representing binary values each min to the each min term, then grouping them according to number of ones presented in the binary representation. So here the first group, if we check first group, one, four, eight in the given min terms are regarding to first group in the in the first column, first group. So it has only Those numbers has only logic one, 
one logic one one is there in the group in the second group the number of ones in the binary representations are two in the third group number of ones are three in the fifth four, fourth group number of ones are four likewise we can make them group into according to number of ones in the binary representation once the first column is uh, done then my, our the important step to do the tabulation method is searching process yeah exhaustive search means comparing in the first column comparing one group with the neighboring group next group next immediate group how to compare like compare with the first group 1 with 6 1 with 9 1 with 10 and then important note here is while com while comparing is there any single bit change is if a single bit is found then those two numbers are matching and consider those two numbers in the column b so first i will check one six in the one six first zero 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 one no one bit change zero one again two bit change so i'm not considering this number if i'm going to go to one nine one nine zero one no one bit change zero 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 one no one no so only one bit change that bit is cancelled to each other and remaining three bits are take as it is and the cancel variable represented by hyphen hyphen remaining bits are take as it is this process is repeated for four to six four to nine four to ten wherever the matching process ma match matched then consider that group and once over that one group with the second group same second group compare with the third group with each number with the, in the third group okay like that we can do once uh, this process is done keep on continue to do you will get the column b in the once you complete the column b again the same process is repeated to get the column c how can we get like one nine group is one nine six four six eight nine eight ten is one group six seven nine eleven ten eleven another group seven fifteen eleven fifteen another group so this is in the column two also again compare with the first group to the second group and the second group with the third group you will get the column c if you check this column c then whether they are covering so now and the third important point here it is while doing column b check that all minterms are covering in the column a or not by taking this one one nine one is covered nine is covered four is covered four six four six covered eight nine eight nine covered eight ten ten covered six seven seven covered nine eleven eleven covered seven fifteen fifteen covered while doing this searching process matching process which are the group is matching that that are considered tick mark remaining all are represented with the red color eight nine group is covered nine ten eleven group covered eight ten group is covered nine eleven group covered whatever the uncovered untick mark i am not providing any tick mark and also represented with the red colors are nothing but final prime implicants so those are nothing but how can we read those numbers those red color numbers so it is basically four variable function dash zero zero one means dash we can't consider only zero means complemented variable one means uncomplemented variable so double x y z w we can't consider here zero zero one means x bar y bar z so this is the first term next zero one dash zero w bar x y we can take z bar w bar x z bar like that we can take the six comma seven group represented by w bar x y and uh, this one is represented with this one sorry x y z is nothing but here it is dash zero zero dash uh, triple dash one 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 means uh, x y z dash one da dash one like one dash one one means y w x y w y z and finally these are two are repeated so we can take that w x bar w x bar so two prime implicants are repeated we can consider only one time so w x bar 
finally you will get uh, like how many red colors are there not matching 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but 6 7 numbers are repeated so we will take consider one time so totally 6 symptoms are there these are the minimized boolean function using tabulation method this way in this model we will ask questions using Karnoff map using tabulation method you can also find from the essential prime implicant of a minimized this boolean function take the each min terms in one column prime implicants in one column all min terms in second column so we know that one it is very easy to recognize that uh, that min term with the group number one nine one nine four six six seven like that take the cross mark for each one so this table represented with take cross mark for one nine four six like that once you finding the all the cross mark in vertically check that when while searching vertically is there any single ones in the entire column yes one four eight ten one four eight ten column are the single one column these are called essential prime implicant those prime implicant min terms are covered this essential column essential one four eight nine are the finalized boolean finalized prime implicant so one is covered in the first min term so i'm taking put mark 4 is covered in the second uh, min term, like second prime implicant. I am taking put mark. 8, 9 is covered in the last. Okay. So, while doing last step, so whatever the finalized, uh, now I am taking these three terms are the finalized minimum, you know, like min terms, a prime implicant. Once again, check that these three finalized min terms, uh, a prime implicants are covering all the min, like all the min terms are not. So, this corresponding group number is 1, 9. So 1 is covered, 9 is covered. And this minter finalized minter, 4 covered, 6 covered. And this minter, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. So who are the numbers are not covered means 15 and 7. These two are not covered. So these two are also not covered numbers also considered the final boolean function. Which row is covered same 7 and 15 means this one. So finally, we can transfer these four terms are the minimized Boolean functions in the uh, essential prime implicant, prime implicant table. In this way, we can find the prime implicant, essential prime implicant or minimized Boolean function from tabulation method. These are the references. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.